What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna go over wet sanding, how it's done, the proper steps that are needed to take out all of the scratches and get that super fine gloss. Pay attention, let's go. But first off guys, like always, please give me a like, give me a share, give me a follow, help me build this channel so I can keep making awesome, informative videos for you and teach you how to make your boat look just like this. All right guys, so why do we even need to wet sand a boat? How can I tell when I need to wet sand it or when I can just go right to compounding? If your boat does not look like this, if it's faded, chalky, or if it looks like this picture right here, then you know for sure that you need to wet sand. And this is how we do it right here. Take notes, pay attention, and enjoy, baby! Okay guys, so now we've decided that we do need to wet sand our boat. It is extremely chalky. There's no gloss, there's no shine. But where the heck do we start? Guys, the way that wet sanding goes is that we have to use a DA machine. A DA machine with certain pads on it, okay? And when you turn it on, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna cut right through the oxidation, cut right through uh, some of this gel coat, and it's gonna expose, the goal here is to expose the nice, fresh gel coat, and then we have to preserve that. So on top of your DA, what you're gonna need is your various sanding discs, okay? So Marka, Marka makes awesome ones that fit right on the DA. They go all the way down to like 180 grit, but today all we need to do is we need to start at 320, then we're gonna work our way up, we're gonna step it up. 320, 400, 600, 800, 1000, and then we go on the buffer, baby. Let's go. Okay guys, now I'm about to show you what the sandpaper does to the actual fiberglass. And now I'm gonna show you exactly what happened to this gel coat. So look at here, as you can see, it's super dull. I didn't really need to go down here. That's where it was finished from before. But see, guys, this is what you wanna do. You wanna look for all this dull, all this faded, all these scratch marks, okay? And what we do is we step it up from here. So now the goal, since we got all of the um, oxidation off, we wanna go ahead and we wanna remove all of these scratches and then we wanna finish out with a compound and a polish so we can get that optimal shine back, make her looking new. As you can tell, after all that sanding, we have some shine left, but there is a good amount of scratches. See how it's hazy down here? So now guys, we're gonna go with the heavy cut compound. We're gonna get all these scratches out and it's gonna look like a new freaking boat. Let's go. All right guys, so here we go with the heavy cut compound. So the good thing about this, this level R from, uh, from Stark, uh, it's really good because as you spin it, you heat it up, it actually breaks down into somewhat of a, it's, it's called a diminishing abrasive, uh, but here you go. So I'm leaving it real time. This is how slow and how much we need to grind. Guys, when we use the 320 and all that sanding that we did, it leaves some really deep scratches. So as you see, I have my elbow against the inside of my leg there. And so I'm using a lot of pressure because the goal here is to remove all of those scratches so you get maximum clarity. 
So as we go and we watch through this video, you're gonna see me kneeling down and looking down the line into the light, looking for those sanding scratches. And every so often I will stop and I will put some more level R compound on certain little spots and I will press really hard in those spots to get all of those scratches out. Just gonna let this roll here for you, take notes and enjoy. you made it this far watching the video you can see man it takes a lot of work but guys once you get ooh, once you get that that's what it's all about baby let's go hope you enjoyed this video hope you got a lot out of it any questions comments please leave down below i'll talk to you soon peace love and happiness